Now all the students are working on their final looks. So you're seeing a lot of color behind me, whereas last semester we had the muslin and um, all of that happening. So they started with finalizing their look five in muslin, and now all, everyone is starting on their final first look. And so that's where the color's coming into play. We are moving towards that April 30th showcase that we're really excited about presenting and uh, collaborating with a few other departments as well, so it's fun. Um, so this is my mood board. This is the first step of the design process. It's basically gathering images that inspire you and what the mood of your collection is going to be. I was trying to go for something bridal but with a twist, perhaps with some darker pop colors. Um, and I wanted to be inspired by Gothic architecture because I think it's really beautiful. So I like these ideas of things that are beautiful but unnatural in a way. You know, like not everybody would probably like to wear this, and that's okay with me. Not everybody should. <laughs> These are my sketches. And this one, my professor called macabre, which I get. <laughs> the idea is that it's gonna be like dyed to look like it was kind of like she walked through blood or something. Um, this might actually end up being like a skirt underneath with a dress on top. So these are my flats for the two garments. Um, this is a flat, so it's basically a more um, technically accurate drawing. You're supposed to be able to reference this and know how it would look more in real life as opposed to just a representation. Um, this is a strapless dress and it's going to have a print that I'm going to make on Illustrator. Yeah, we're also going to be designing our own textile print. Got on Adobe Illustrator and like made our prints through Illustrator. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is where the repeat is on this textile. So we're looking at a photograph of the textile that we took and we're trying to isolate where the repeat is. And once we do that, then we can um, take this single repeat and drag it into the swatch box and use it as a fill for your exact designs. One of our students is, is working with live models, and so she's custom making garments to fit these live models. And one of her live models is pregnant. And so she's hurriedly getting one of these uh, designs done. So right now I'm like trying to do it everything very fast to catch her and make the pictures. Because <laughs> I want to have my, like pictures of a real woman wearing my, my dresses. A lot of the surprises came when the color fabrics and the fabric choices came in. There's so many different shades of white, so many. <laughs> um, and I would have never imagined it would be so hard to find matching whites. We're dealing with a zipper that doesn't quite match the blue that we want it to be, and so we're coming up with an alternative way so she does not have to wait on a new zipper to find that right blue. And so we're gonna make it altering the pattern just a little bit so that that zipper's not gonna be seen. So much is left to do on this dress. I just need to go back and fix the fit, really. It's a little bit off. The pattern work for this was my most difficult. It took me like a month, and I'm working my hardest to get to where I want, but she'll get there. So my sister painted these lovely pictures on these little pillows that I made. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty different. My original idea was to have some beads on here. I haven't gotten to the beading part in this yet. It's very simple and elegant, but it's not um, a statement. I feel like the one that really did come to life was this one. So this is the sketch, and you can see the puffy sleeves and the v-neck and the tears that I drew. And I just feel like it really did come to life. It's like off from the page onto the mannequin. 
And this is 100% silk organza. It was my first time um, working with it and it was quite challenging. It's been really rewarding but also challenging at the same time because um, I feel like sometimes I make these dresses with like um, tears and blood and sweat because I prick myself often. Not too long ago, I sewed through my finger with the needle at my former job. But um, it's a good feeling when you can just go to sleep at night and feel like you've done something and you have something to show for and you enjoy doing it every day. You know, I can't wait for them to finally show what they've done over the last two, three years during a pandemic, what they have been able to create. I'm excited to highlight them and showcase them. That's, that's just going to be the best thing. I can't wait for that. Yeah. I feel so good to have it done and to see everyone just, you know, owning it. And we really all came together and we really just did this. And we spent so much time together, like, doing this. And it just feels so good to be, to put it out there and be done. It still feels kind of surreal, like, to see the garments are actually made and how they came to life from paper. I'm like, is this actually happening? What? It feels amazing. I have a lot of people that come and support me. Okay, I'm actually overwhelmed with how it just went off. It just was amazing how everything just came together. I honestly didn't know if people were going to be interested or even like my work, so it's really exciting to have people asking me questions. Uh, a lot of people really love my pattern. I'm getting so many great responses to the design I made. I would say like the, I'm getting the most feedback probably on the prints and how like unique they are. This seems to be like the favorite dress of the day for some reason, which is funny because my personal favorite is this one. Um, I love the bow in the back and the train. Setting up this morning, I thought for sure, oh, something would happen. But no, it was all just fell into place. We had a con consultant come in and helped each um, student set up their um, booths and everything. It was just fantastic. I reached out to the photography department and we were able to work with the photography department and they created an assignment for fashion photography. So we make the pictures right here at ACC in the studio. It was just so awesome. They have every screen that you could want, every background, they have so many props, everything. They have like a beauty room, everything, dressing rooms, all of that. My first model was pregnant. So I have to make it happen before the photo shoot here and the dress actually fit her. I really pushed myself to um, my limit and tried to improve my skills. I learned so much. I was support the whole time, and I learned so much in the whole program. I completely recommend it. I really hope to like have an internship, you know, get some like just experience in the industry. But for now, I really just want to make my own. I have so many ideas, and I've been focusing so much on this collection and getting this done that I haven't been able to make anything else. So it's gonna be really fun to start just making things for me and just to put out there. I'm so proud of what they've done and accomplished. It's been um, a year long process and to see them emerge into this explosive environment and have such great response has been fantastic. <laughs>